Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be taking up the paper of KCET 2022 examination. I have the set D4 with me. I'll be solving chemistry. So the first question is from physical chemistry. A first order reaction is half completed in 45 minutes. How long does it need 99.9% .9 of the reaction to be completed? In the question, it is given that it is a first order reaction and it is half completed. So P half is 45 minutes. So we know the formula for T half is ln2 by k. We'll use this formula to find k, that is rate constant, first. So k will be ln2 by T half. ln2 is 0 0.693 divided by T half is 45 minutes. So when we divide this, we get k is equals to 0 0.0154 minute inverse. Minute inverse is because uh, 45 minutes was in the denominator. So as it is a first order reaction, we know that rate constant formula is k is equals to 2.303 divided by t into log a by a minus x. A is the concentration that we are taking we are uh, taking it to be uh, the concentration in the beginning. So here in the question, they are asking how long does it need for 99.9% .9 of the reaction to be completed. So here x is 99.9. .9, so we will take a as 100. 2.303 divided by t is not known. So we will substitute t here. And k is to be substituted this side, okay? So this will be same log a by a minus x. You can transpose and check. There is no issue here. Okay. So 2.303 because we don't know t we are using k. That's why you found out uh, what is the value of k no, in the beginning. So next here k we know is 0 0.0154 which we found out earlier. So log of a is 100 by 100 minus 99.9. .9. So this will get 3.303. into log of 100 divided by 0 0.1 2.303 divided by 0 0.0154 into log 1000 so log 1000 is nothing but 3 okay we'll get the answer as 148.636 minute so we have to convert this into hours as in the question all options are in hours. So we know one minute, sorry, one hour has 60 minutes. So we know there is 448.636 minutes. So cross multiply and find the answer using a unitary method. Okay. So we'll get the answer as, uh, like I'll show you how you can make it quick. Okay. This will become 448. We'll take it as just 448 divided by 60, okay? To make calculations easier as we have, if we use decimals, it will go lengthier, nothing else. We can find an approximate answer. So, 6, 7 are 42, 6, 4 are 28, okay? So, this will be somewhere around uh, 7.4, okay? So, the answer is option C, 7.5 hours. You can see there is no other option which is close to 7 point something, okay? So, we can get answers easily by just uh, approximating larger values. I hope you understood. I have not missed any step so that uh, it is easier for you to understand. If you know how to solve this, uh, you can skip all the calculations. Uh, okay. The question is not that lengthy. It is, I have elaborately explained all the steps. So it might uh, look very lengthy to you or it may seem that this video is going too long just with one question. But if you know the formula, the you, then you will solve this question in just two minutes. It won't take more than that. Let's move on. The rate of reaction CH3CO, you can see the reaction, is given by the equation. Rate is equals to rate constant into, okay. If concentration is expressed in mole in mole liter inverse, the unit of K is. We know that uh, here in the question it is given, rate is moles per liter, right? So, in uh, we know that in zero order reaction, okay, zero order, Rate constant K has di uh, has unit mole per second, okay? For first order, 
it is second inverse and in second order it is mole inverse second inverse okay and third order it is here i have left the liter part in second order reaction okay third order it is mole inverse square liter square second inverse okay so these are the uh, units of all the uh, rate constant units for all order reactions uh, i want you all to memorize this as it will uh, help you in not wasting a lot of time in thinking uh, which order it is okay so rate is equals to k So this is what is given in the question, right? This is how rate is denoted. So we will write rate. Rate is what? Rate is concentration by time, which is equal to k into this is what? This is also concentration. So this is concentration square, right? Concentration into concentration. Like both are concentration only, right? So concentration has the unit mole liter inverse, and time has a unit second, which is equals to k. into concentration is what mole liter inverse square so here this gets cancelled with this one of this right so we know the value of the unit of k is liter mole inverse second inverse this is the required answer in second question we had to find the unit of k okay so we found out how like we know that rate is given as k into this which is also written in the question so rate is nothing but concentration by time and k here it is equal to k into uh, the concentration of ch3co o c2h5 into naoh so this is also concentration this is also we make like the units we are using the units of the rest all uh, in the formula to find the unit of k i hope you understood this okay so we'll move on to the next part third question so the third question is colloidal solution commonly used in the treatment of skin disease is this is theory based question sulfur is the answer okay uh, colloidal sul so solution of sulfur is the correct answer as it has larger surface area and is hydrophilic in nature also it kills germs so the right answer is um, colloidal sulfur now the fourth question specific conductance of 0.1 m hno3 is 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm inverse centimeter inverse the molar conductance of the solution is so we'll solve this question fourth one k is equals to 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm inverse centimeter inverse it is given in the question and c concentration is 0.1 m uh, molar conductance formula is uh, lambda m is equal to 1000 k upon concentration this is there in ncert everybody knows this formula as it is uh, mostly asked in board exams also so we have to just put, put the values and we'll get the answer into 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by concentration is 0.1 so this will become 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 so which is 630 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse so this is the molar concentration so which is option b Let's move on to the fifth question. For spontaneity of a cell, which is correct? This is a basic question from NCERT uh, regarding the spontaneous uh, spontaneity of a cell. Uh, for spontaneous reaction, the delta G gives energy is always negative. The formula of delta G is minus N F E, and delta G has another formula which is delta H minus T delta S. so according to these formulas if we see that for spontaneous uh, for a reaction to be spontaneous delta g is negative which means um, delta h will be positive and uh, this part will also be positive okay and in this formula delta g is negative which means this part is positive as the minus sign will make this ne positive as negative value okay so these are the things that will be positive and negative respectively so we should match all these uh, according to the options so the only option that matches is option a that is delta g is negative let's move to the next question for nth order of reaction half life period is directly proportional to so this is the question okay for nth order 
reaction p half is always directly proportional to 1 by a to the power n minus 1 okay or t half is directly proportional to a to the power 1 minus n these are the only two relations between t half and order of reaction so this is a theory question so these are the two relations that you have to remember it matches with the option a and also b so this question was uh, this the marks was given to both the students who had uh, entered a or entered b question number 7 half life of a reaction is found to be inversely proportional to the fifth power of its initial concentration the order of the reaction is so the question says half life t half is inversely proportional to the fifth power so t half is equals to 1 by a to the power n minus 1 right we saw here also so the same formula we are using here because we know this relation t half is directly proportional so we will use that and we will find the order of the reaction okay that is 1 by a to the power n minus 1 is equals to 1 by a to the power 5 so a to the power n minus 1 is equals to a to the power 5 n minus 1 is equals to 5 so n is equals to 5 plus 1 that is 6 which matches with option a okay let's move to the next question question number eight the strong reducing property of hypophosphorus acid is due to option a presence of phosphorus in its highest oxidation state Phosphorus is not in its highest oxidation state as you can check it is in plus one state. Okay, you can check by um, using its chemical formula that is H3PO2. I have solved it here. You can see H3PO2. This is the oxidation state of phosphorus that I found. It is plus one. Okay, phosphorus belongs to the fifth group. So it has uh, the highest state is plus five, not plus one. Okay, A is wrong. B, its concentration. It is also wrong. C, the positive valency of phosphorus. That is also wrong. Option D, two pH points is the correct answer as Reducing property of oxy acids belonging to the phosphorus family are due to uh, the property of due to the presence of the pH bonds. Okay, um, it is also written in the NCRT. You can uh, find it. Um, it has more tendency to release protons. More the number of pH bonds, more easily it will uh, release protons. Okay, so let's move to the next question. A transition metal exists in its highest oxidation state. It is be expected to behave as oxidizing agent is the right answer. Uh, for example, manganese plus seven, chromium plus five. These are uh, very good oxidizing agents, right? So, answer is option D, okay? Let's move to the next question. What will be the value of X in FeX plus if the magnetic moment mu is equals to root 24 Bohr magneton? So, we have to find the value of X. So, let's calculate. Question number 10, okay? FeX plus. We know mu is under root 24 which is equals to formula is what n into n plus 2 which is equals to 24 so 24 is equals to n into n plus 2 you can find it by either uh, quadratic or just by substitution we'll like hit in trial okay so n is 1 2 like that you can put so it is actually n is 4 only then this relation will hold good so we got the value as n as 4 so n denotes the number of unpaired electrons okay so Unpaired electrons are 4. If you check the atomic number of iron, that is 24, 26, the electrons are placed as 4s2, 3d6, right? So, here, there are 4 unpaired electrons. So, you can see here, I have written, uh, d orbital, there are 5 um, blocks in which we, I am placing the electrons, like 3d6 means, 6 electrons means there is only one paired block and rest four are unpaired that is what is the situation that is it is showing so iron is in plus two oxidation state is the correct answer okay i hope you understood all the solutions please do subscribe to our channel for more such videos and updates i'll be taking up next 10 questions of kct in the next sequel of this video you can check all the videos from our channel thank you for the whole paper you can check my channel you will get all the solutions in detailed way just like in this video for more such updates, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comment section if you need something more from me. Thank you.